beating Minecraft where I can only use my fists. The rules are simple. No killing mobs or mining a block using anything else other than my hands. I will introduce more rules as we go on. But anyway, let's start our journey of beating Minecraft using only fists. So I started the world by killing a sheep. And then I decided to do a stupid jump and I quickly backed out of it. Once I'm in the water, I get some wood and I craft a crafting table and begin the first part of our journey, finding a ruined nether portal. Let me talk you through the plan. When I arrive at the ruined nether portal, inside the chest there should be obsidian and eventually I'll be able to get 10 obsidian which can be used to make a nether portal. So here I am looking for a ruined portal. Until. Oh, bitch. Let's go. I needed this food. That voice effect is just to only distinguish between the, this voice, the narrator voice, and the voice in the game. Anyway, I gathered some hay bales as food is very crucial to my plan because I'll be traveling a lot. After I gathered some hay bales, I found some armor. armor. And then, I finally crafted some bread. To make a flint and steel, I will need iron, so I had to go kill the iron golem. Ouch. Took a while. Four iron. As my time in the village was over, I began looking for a new ruined portal, and disaster struck. Luckily I set my spawn in the village, so during the night I slept in a new bed, and decided to wait until all the zombies are dead to go look for my items. As I made my way down very safely, I finally got to my items. There's the iron. All my stuff. Food. Now I continue on my journey. Safely. Oh, that's a cool cave. I'm not gonna try and even jump for water again. I do want to check this cool cave out. <gasps> Portal! In the cave. I have finally found my first portal. Inside a cave that is very sketchy and I could die here. Oh, Minecraft here as well. I jump down and I loot whatever is in the ruined portal. But since there's no way back up with the blocks I had, I had to mine oak logs from the mine shaft to build back up and out of the cave. After stocking up at the village, I find a new ruined portal near enough and it gave me no obsidian still. From this point on, I knew that it's going to be a long way until I get 10 obsidian. Even though I would make progress very slowly. Obsidian! We got one piece of, of obsidian everyone. Holy shit. The journey was difficult, but village by village, portal by portal, I would eventually get 10 obsidian. Lovely spawn. Let's do some crafting. Get an iron chest plate. Get a shield. Get an iron helmet as well. After getting my armor, it was time to navigate through the rough terrain of the basalt biome and find a bastion or fortress, whichever one is closer. Okay, I got piglin brute on me. Good one. Keep you blocked up. I don't know if there's anyone else around though. I'll try to get that chest. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at that pickaxe. Oh yes, that is a lot of gold. Oh, careful, I use my fist. After I gave the piglin some gold, I decided to make my way around the bastion. Now since it took me about half an hour to go to the next interesting point, I'll just cut to it then. Oh. Lovely. Gar and the pearls. Now to the fortress. Now, tackling the fortress is no joke. You have to worry about the blazes always shooting you off the fortress and the skeletons and the wither skeletons. How the hell? Where did you come from? Yeah, that's fine. We can try push the skeleton off. Lovely. Now, after staying here for about half an hour, I realized I was getting too comfortable staying up there slowly punching the blazes away until I got a real shock Now after standing for a few more minutes, I finally decided to go in and challenge the blazes. I knew if I died here, it would all be over. After going head to head with the blazes and trapping them in a wall, I can finally finish them off using only my hands. Oh, I've got three! That's class! Little did I know that finding more blazes would be the most difficult thing in the world. After killing four more blazes, the seventh rod finally came. Yes, seven. Any more? It was time to make the nether portal, to go back to the overworld, and beat the ender dragon. Let's go home. Let's do some crafting. After crafting and mining some dirt, it was time to go to the journey towards the stronghold. Came from that bush. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Off we go. This was not fun. Oh, stone brick. We are here. Yes. 
If you know me, finding end portals is not my strong point at all. I hate it. Yes, okay, here it is. What we're gonna do is gonna make some wool to make a bed. Oh, I knew I needed 12. That right there is drip. Let's go! Now, oh, I'm gonna... Go to the top of the towers. Hopefully, make it. So my plan was to go on each individual tower, build up, and break the crystal, and then... Kill the Ender Dragon with my fists. How hard can that be? The final tower has been destroyed. So I built an Enderman platform and waited for the dragon to perch. It's perching, it's perching, it's perching. Oh my god. After that mishap, I waited for the dragon to perch again. Even to me, this shouldn't be allowed how much damage the fist is doing to a dragon. The shortest perch in the world, man. I hit it once. What you're about to witness is 20 minutes of the dragon constantly perching and it only perches for one or two hits and then it flies off this was the most frustrating time of the whole run however since i was bored i decided to start making a dirt house oh, come on man what are these perches Oh my god, you cannot perch. No, this is actually stupid. It's actually stupid. You can tell I was getting very frustrated. So I decided to relog and hope it would fix things. After relogging, it finally perched. And this time, it lasted how long it usually should. That was a lot better, holy. We're so close, we're so close. With the dragon now perching, it's time to finish this. Everything that's led up to this moment, from the villagers, from the first gathering of wood, it all comes down to this one moment right here. Perching.
It has been done. If you want the seed. There you go. Yeah. You can finally sleep. <laughs>